Hello everyone and welcome to how to rip a DVD and get it onto your iPod part 1 brought to you by eVideoHow.com Now before we start I'd like to mention that DVD movies that you buy in stores are copy protected and protected by US copyright law so ripping them and distributing them is illegal and you can get fined for that. However, if you're making personal copies for backup or if you're just going to try to put it in a format that your computer can read or your iPod, as far as I know that's alright as long as you don't share it with anyone. But either way, I'm going to be using a DVD that I created myself so we, don't, we avoid that problem if anyone sees this video and gets mad. Alright, so to do this you're going to need two things. You need a DVD and you're going to need it in your DVD drive, which would definitely help, as well as a program called DVD Fab Decryptor. And I'm going to show you how to do, how to download that and where to get it. So to start, you're going to want to head over to a web page. And I've already got it up, but you see my Google bar. If you just uh, Google search DVD Fab Decryptor Download, uh, one of the best places you can download is called TechSpot, and I'll provide the uh, link in the info box. But right here you can hit download and get the software. It's a pretty, not a very big download, it's only 7 megabytes, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. It's completely free. And you're going to want to download and install that. But I've already got that done, so I don't have to, you don't have to wait for me to do that. Now you're going to want to open DVD Fab 5, and if you really want to, you can buy the Platinum and Gold versions, which allow you to do a bunch of other options, including mobile and splitting the DVD and such, but if you're just looking for a movie, don't need to worry about that, just hit Start DVD Fab HD Decryptor. This will even, this will even work with HD DVDs, even though they're a little outdated now, and it's going to want you to access the internet, which is fine. Now you can either do the full disc or the main movie. Most people are going to want to find the main movie. And on a regular DVD movie, you're going to see a bunch of different options down here. You're going to see a bunch of different options down here. And you're going to want to look for the play time. And generally, the section with the longest play time is going to be the movie. Sometimes one will be widescreen, one will be full screen, and you can see that by the axis effect ratio here. And when you pick out the audio, depending on what you're doing, if you're doing it for an iPod, PCM-2 is fine, it's only two channels, but you, know, you can only get two out of your iPod anyway. If you're doing this to watch on a desktop PC you're using as a media center, then you're going to want to pick the 5.1 channel. So you're going to do that, you're going to pick, you can pick your target output, and you're going to hit next, and that's fine, you're going to hit start. Now, in the other version you can pick DVD 5 if you want, which will compress a little bit, but you don't want to do that, so just leave it at 9, just hit start. And it'll start, and it'll do it, copy the thing for you, it's going to come out in one big file called vts 0 onevob so, I'm not going to wait for this to finish. Alright guys, that's how to rip your video off a DVD. And I will put up part 2 of this video and link in the info box to get it onto your iPod. Remember to watch this video and all of my other videos in high quality. Please visit my website at www.evideohow.com. Thanks a lot.